Laplace transforms three application of Laplace transforms. We actually solve the example of differential equation here. So differential equation is given by this. This is third order derivative and second order derivative and first order derivatives. And initial condition is given like that. So this is the example to solve. So what we do is we transform both sides so the third order derivative is going to be this and these are the initial condition term and this is second order derivative and the first order derivatives right and something missing here yeah 2y so minus 2ys equals 0 okay so this is algebra just put them together and we uh, factor it and each factor coefficient is calculated 5 1 1 okay now this one we know how it's inverse transform so yt is this way right so uh, um, let's see this is wrong right obviously okay so you have to go through this process to solve it and I could solve another example it just a little bit takes time but basically you can solve it you understand here using Laplace transform you transform it and use the algebra to simplify each term and inverse transform to get yt okay so this is this is a very general way to solve the linear differential equation and this is the engineering tool for electronics and uh, mechanics and all others wherever the linear differential equations are and engineering problem can be often approximated by linear differential equation the complex term can be eliminated to analyze and after analysis we can just make apply a little modification to to show the nonlinear effect how it's coming okay so that's the story about Laplace transforms okay if you like hit the subscribe